Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is yours truly once again, Passport Gang. Now, of course, I'll be coming from the realm of indifference and being unbiased. I just want to provide my thoughts about it. Yep, you can see I got my card, but I need to update to a book. Now, here's my thing. Like, for me, traveling, it's not really about the experience or about being around different cultures. It's just all about getting different perspectives. Now, just growing up and realizing that when I moved out of my hometown of St. Louis, I realized that I had a totally different perspective than the people in my hometown upon me moving out. I saw things, you know, I thought outside of my town. Now, when you travel overseas, you start to think outside of your country. So, yes, I encourage more people to really think outside of the United States box, so to speak. Most people in the United States are closed minded, very narrow minded. Most people in the United States only speak English. I speak English, German and Japanese. I'm also learning a few other languages. Yeah, I just uh, got this camera not too long ago. I actually got blessed with this camera. I got to figure out how to use it, though. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But yeah, I'll be uh, trying to use this bad boy when I start to travel overseas. Uh, it's got this. Uh, what, what kind of latch that goes with this thing? Hold up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got the bag to go with it. So I'm trying to get all my gear together. I'm also trying to uh, get some binoculars too. So yes, camera and binoculars. I mean, be a little skill so y'all can actually see what the camera look like. But yeah, I gotta figure out the model of this camera and all that. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna work on that. My bad, not to digress, but like, yeah, when, when people come from overseas to the United States, they know their language from where they're from, plus other languages. On top of that, they know English. And of course, it's been like a force spoon for other countries around the world for them to learn English. So my point is, with the United States, we are not really force fed other languages. I would say Spanish is becoming that way because of the Latino population that continues to grow here in the United States. But given going back to what I'm saying, like a lot of us have never really traveled to have newer perspectives. It's reflective in a lot of American mentality, but also in the architecture. You look overseas, their cities are beautiful. Uh, even if they're concrete jungles, they're sculpted. They're adding greenery to a lot of skyscrapers. The, the, the roads are clean. You know, they, they stay on top of cleanliness. You don't see that in most United States cities. Uh, a lot of cities are disasters. A lot of the big cities in the United States are disasters. And so is our mentality in those cities. The way we look out for each other, we don't. We don't even care for homeless people. We ban them in all of these cities. They don't do that overseas. I'd say with globalization on the rise due to capitalism, uh, it can make certain international travel a little more bland than others. But from personal experience, I'd say just avoid a lot of the westernized cities that are overseas. I mean, you, that doesn't mean don't go to modern cities. Yes, still go to the modern cities that are overseas, but just avoid the ones that are more westernized where you do see more tourists than normal. You want to kind of go to the smaller towns or just travel to a lot of if you do go to westernized cities, go during the off seasons. Uh, go. Yeah. Go during the off seasons when it's not peak time for tourism. So um, I'd say do that and that'll help you more with your international travels. But, yeah, I'm all about different perspectives, not really just the overall experience, you know, or even the occasional uh gal of my dreams that could show up in these places overseas it's all about perspectives overall it enriches everything else signing out